Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Today we're going to learn about CSS, what it is and how to add it within Elementor. CSS is the language which allows us to control the presentation of elements, layouts, colour, effects, behaviours and more. You can learn how to write CSS by visiting w3schools.com forward slash CSS or by any other resource you find online. The Elementor Editor lets us create amazing websites with ease while showing us a real-time preview. It then automatically creates the necessary code for us in the background. But how can we achieve a unique design or animation that can't be done in the editor alone? Like this text stroke here. Or how to add special animations like these floating shapes here. This is where CSS comes in. With Elementor Pro, we can add custom CSS to every section, column, or widget. OK, let's take a few steps back to the initial state and start with our first example. In order to achieve the text stroke effect, I searched for CSS text stroke and found this snippet of CSS. This link will also be available for you in the video description. Let's copy the code snippet. Back on our page, simply select the element that you would like to apply the code to directly, or through the navigator. Now go to the Advanced tab. Open Custom CSS. Here you can add your code, and you'll see the changes instantly. OK, great. Now I'll just have to dive into the code and change the properties here. Let's replace one pixel with two pixels, and white instead of black. Magic! Next, we'll add the floating animation with CSS. I searched for CSS floating animation and found this piece of CSS. The link for this snippet is also attached in the video description for your convenience. I can see in the preview here, it animates the grey square and is exactly what I need for my background shapes, so let's copy it. Let's go to our image, Advanced tab, and in Custom CSS, let's paste in the code. But nothing is happening. But do not worry, we'll make some small adjustments here to make it work. Before we do this, however, let's first learn how CSS is constructed. CSS is built from selectors, which tell the browser, hey, search for h1 element, as an example. Right after, we have declarations, which can be seen in the curly brackets. These are the rules which are applied to the selector. Inside we have properties and values. A semicolon is used to separate properties. If you see a dot, it means hey, search for an element with a specific class name. And if you see a hashtag, it means a unique ID name, which is like a class name, but can't be used more than once. Now back in our code, you can see that we have a dot here, which means that it's a class, going by the name floating. So all we have to do is copy the class name, open the Advanced tab, and then paste in the same class name to our element here. An alternate method is to simply replace the class with the word selector. This tells the Elementor editor to apply the CSS to this currently selected element. And as you can see, it gives us the same result. How will you use CSS in your websites? Share with us in the comments below your creations, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.